All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, or Kakodash, the water Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, the water Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truthful swarms, double honors to our apostle others, that great millstone, and salutation and blessings to the whole for life. Make videos on this from time to time, man, because it's, it's prevalent in this world we live in, and it stands out, man. And I'm just get right to it. This is Second Peter two and verse seven. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now, the when you go into the word conversation, which actually let's just go into it. I'm not even gonna just let it let the definition speak for itself. Second Peter two, and verse eight. And I'm gonna read it in a new the NIV it says, For the for that righteous man, uh verse us uh, uh seven, and and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who who distressed who was distressed by by the 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 depraved conduct of of the of the lawless. So Lot was vexed, man. He was, he was, I'm actually pull up that word from there too. Pull it up real quick. Let's highlight it. Just bear with me. Stop. Yep, depraved. We're just gonna get it. It says moral corruption, wicked, a depraved indifferent to to human life, <laughs> a depraved indifference to human life. All right, so like you back back to it, but we're going into the word depraved, and uh. This is depravity. It says the state of being depraved, corrupt degeneracy. Depraved depravity. Uh actually sixteen for uh forties. C depraved plus T A T early and same was earlier in the same sense of pravity. evil or or corrupt state wickedness crookedness that's that's going that's taking it way back wrong bad literally crooked and we know what the scriptures talk about crooked things man the things that are if it's made crooked who can make it straight uh i think that's a. Uh, This is a Sirach 7, or no, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the works of Yahweh, for who can make that straight which 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 he had made crooked. And majority of these people in this world today are crooked. They're wicked. They're wicked. And, and hey, that's why the scriptures say the Lord has given them up unto vile affections, man. To where the man have left their, their natural use and the women have left the natural use of a woman everybody's just wicked is this world is full of wickedness man and we're sh we're striving to be righteous in a wicked world and it's just that's why the scriptures say he that turneth away from wickedness roughly paraphrasing isaiah maketh himself a prey because we are enemies of this world because we strive after righteousness so i'm gonna read this again in the niv it says and if he if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depra depraved con conduct of the lawless. And this is a KJV and delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now let's get this word conversation. Manner of life, conduct, behavior, deport deportment. 
behavior conversation. And it goes into these people's behaviors. And even if it's not a sodomite, even if it's not a lesbian, man, the way these people think, man, is it's, it's just wicked. It's, this is why the flood came. This is why the destruction came. This is why the Heavenly Father destroyed the earth, man. That's why he, he not destroyed, but flooded the earth because of wickedness. And we're here once again, and the earth is wicked. And who is the cause of this? It's not about this. It, it's, it's, a, it's not about color, man. It's about the person destroying the mindset of the people, destroying the planet, destroying life itself. That's what it's about, man. And that man is Esau Edom and what he has done to the children of the Heavenly Father. This man, Esau Edom, so-called white people, have destroyed this planet. He is the one pushing out this lifestyle. He is the one pushing out this type. Man, this is madness. The brother sent this. Brother sent this. This is from... Uh, this is what Jada Pickett says. Don't let your husband stop stop you from finding lo the love of your life. What? This is the type of wickedness, man, that is pushed out on the planet, man. This is this is what's going on. And everybody's okay with it, and that is not good. That's a problem. That is a problem and it has to be corrected. Wickedness is not okay. Righteousness is what it, what it must be upholded. Wickedness must be put down because wickedness, all it brings is death. All it brings is death. And that's what we're trying to relate to our people, man. Every weekend, every day, the videos, they just don't get it, man. This is not how we are supposed to live. This world is corrupt, is wicked. And it must go. And I'm going to put a clip at the beginning of the video, which sparked this, vi the, this video, because today I was, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it all day. I seen something on Instagram, and I was just like, man, I'm so sick of seeing this shit, man. Everything just makes you angry, man. I was messing with a brother out there in Chicago. I told him, I said, man, this, I said, I understand why, why Lot was vexed, man, with the filthy conversation of Wicked. Because everything you see just vexes you man it just irritates your soul man it irritates that that righteous spirit within that just it just gets you like ugh. It, 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 you brothers know what i mean man it, it gets you man that there's no type of justice that there's no justice that that's going down for these evil crimes that have been done but but you'll get pulled over for speed and, and get a fat ass ticket but why you got two dudes ramming them ramming each other but that's fine in this in this world oh if you if you if you call somebody if you if you if you say oh oh you should be put put to death for that oh that's a that's a problem you're the you're the wrong if somebody if somebody put a sodomite to death in this society they'd be locked up for the rest of their life gone but that in the scriptures that's righteous that's actually righteous because when you have a when you have one bad apple, it can it just like mold. If you don't get rid of mold, mold, it will spread everywhere. It will spread throughout everything and destroy everything. And that's what these sodomites are. That's what these these whack ass lifestyles that are pushed out. This prideful spirit that everybody has. This is a lifestyle that is being pushed throughout the world, and it must be crushed, man. It must be stopped. It must be uprooted, man. It has to be. It has to be. It must be pulled up, and righteousness must be planted, because this is not life. This wicked world must go. It, it has to. And the men and the leaders that are pushing it out have to be punished and they must go into slavery. And you Jakes, man, you Jakes that push this. The Heavenly Father is not happy with you. And that's all I got to say about that, man. Let me get two two scriptures and um, close off, man. But hey, I'm, this, this, man, 
This is Wisdom of Solomon. I had another I had another one that escapes me. But I'm gonna get this Wisdom of Solomon. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse uh verse 22 moreover this was not enough for for them that they erred in the knowledge of yahweh and everybody's erring in the knowledge of the heavenly father except for the ones that's seeking after the heavenly father the correct way starting with our apostles and elders the majority of people think oh you can love god how you want you can you can you can be you can come to god however you want no the fuck you can't no you can't you must cleanse your ways you must you must change if you if you want to seek Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, you must change. You can't come to the Heavenly Father however you want. You must cleanse your ways and correct yourself, or He's going to destroy you. Or you can be a you can be a sodomite, or or you can eat pork and uh, motherfucker tried to tell me that they're eating pork in the New Testament. Yeah, yeah they no, no, yeah they were, but they're being corrected and told not to. But whereas they but whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance, the majority of people are in a great war of ignorance. That's why there's so many bugged out ass philosophies out here, man. That's why there's so many different doctrines, so many different ways of life out here, because this is a as you have a great awakening, you also have a great war of ignorance, man. Majority of people are ignorant to how they're supposed to live and how they must conduct themselves to be pleasing unto the heavenly father how about shimmy how shy upon this earth i keep going for will they for 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 they for they slew their children in sacrifice oh, but, oh man oh you, it's 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 a damn shame how many abortions happen man and you you'll You'll be surprised how many Jakes are out here killing their babies, man. Men and women. You will be surprised at the number, man. People who you may not think are down for that are doing it, man. Co-worker, co-worker of mine, y'all tell me, yeah, man, I kept getting up. I said, what the fuck? Are you a, nigga, what is wrong with you? And this is a so-called nigga that was in, into the Bible. It's, it's crazy, man. Or use secret ceremonies or or made revelings of strange rites. And majority of people, mainly women nowadays, are witches. Or they think being a witch is cool. They they go after uh, witchcraft. Men and women. They kept not their lives nor marriages any any longer defiled. And a new thing that's being pushed is why aren't relationships or marriages... why why marriages and relationships aren't working in these times they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled because of wickedness this is this is a call because it, it really is going to get down to what causes all of this but either one slew another treacherously and grieved him by adultery and i just watched the video earlier 56 year old Jake with a gold little chain, gang, a gold rope, not even nothing fancy, got killed for it by another Jake in Detroit. So that so that there reigned in all men without expectation, blood, manslaughter, theft and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men. Forgetful, forgetfulness of a good turn, defiling of souls, changing of kinds, disorder in marriage, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness. Shameless, man. They have a show out here called Shameless. Nobody has shame anymore. It says forgetful of a good turn. A good turn is his truth. The ways of the Heavenly Father, the Alba, Shemiah, Shah, everyone forgets. But they'll tell you they'll tell you real quick about an evil turn. They'll tell you how to how to do wickedness. But the way of being righteous, they can't tell you. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and 
an end of all evil. This is why, because we live in a society where there that that there has been a God put on the forefront that people call Jesus and God, which that's not the heavenly Father. Those are those are those are a hey, Jesus is not the is not the Son of the heavenly Father, and God is not the heavenly Father's name. They they have been put at the forefront and they've been taught that you can do as you want the lord will forgive you you can be any anything you want the lord will forgive you it's not so and then people have went against that and become atheists because they say well the bible doesn't make any sense why do well why did god do this and then god do that because so many lies have been pushed out everybody's just fucking confused going back to the great war of ignorance and going back to idolatry, all this comes from these idols. Live as, do as you will is an idol, man. That's an idol. That's idolatry. Oh, I, I worship the universe. That's idolatry. All these different forms of idolatry are out here. And people don't really understand that. But it is. If you're not serving the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, you're in witchcraft. You're in idolatry. You're doing wickedness because rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. This world's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is scripture came back to me. This is 2 Ezra 4 in verse 26. Actually, I'm going to just go right to the point. I'll start at 27. And cannot can I'll start at uh twenty six. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteth fast to pass away. <laughs> and we hey, it can't it come it can't come fast enough. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. But as concerning the things Whereof thou axest ask, me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is not, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So evil has to be rooted up. And it will be very soon. And then the good will come. Then the good tree will come, which is his truth in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shine, his truth being put on the forefront of the entire galaxies forever and ever for eternity. And I would like to say this to if one day to the Heavenly Father in our time is a thousand years, for the Heavenly Father to have a year, which I'll just use es Esau's 365 days. It would take 365,000 years for the Heavenly Father to have one year in our time. So the kingdom of heaven is going to, and I just want to, I said that because it's going to show, that shows the eternity. It's going to be eternity, man. It's not, and, and we're never going to go off again. We're never going to get bored. It's never, because you have Satan creeping. Well, you're going to get bored. You're never going to get bored. Never going to get bored. It's going to be eternity. It, everlasting life immortality it's always going to be great but in these times like it says the world hastes fast to pass away so we just have to be patient brothers we have to be patient brothers and sisters for this world to pass and then the righteousness and the good will come but wickedness will be rooted out and it will be no longer a use that's why Esau is going to be He's completely exterminated after this. After he served slavery, the other nations they're going to commit sins and everything, but Esau himself, he's just going to be completely eradicated. So, Lord, well, I hope this lesson was edifying, man. This it's on my spirit, just off the dome, off the cuff, as we as as as, as you can say, off the spirit. All praise be to Yahweh, by Shemiah, by Shemar, God, with that, Shabbat.